Good morning, my name's Dr. Jeremy McAnulty from New South Wales Health and I'm here with a COVID update for New South Wales for Monday the 10th of January 2021. Across New South Wales, 95.1% of people aged 16 years and over have received one dose of COVID vaccine and 93.7% have received two doses. Of people aged 12 to 15 years, 81.5% have received their first dose and 78.1% have received two doses. There are currently 2,030 COVID-19 cases admitted to hospital, uh, with 159 people in intensive care, 47 of whom require ventilation. Uh, there were 20,293 uh, cases of COVID detected by PCR testing reported in New South Wales in the 24 hours to 8 o'clock last night. More than 84,000 COVID tests were reported in the same period. As increasingly people follow New South Wales Health's advice to use rapid antigen tests for diagnosing COVID-19, the number of PCR tests will underestimate the true number of people who've tested positive for COVID-19. Sadly, we're reporting the deaths of 18 people, six women and 11 men, and a child under the age of five. Of the six women and 11 men, one was aged in their 30s, Three were in their 60s, four in their 70s, seven were aged in their 80s, and two were aged in their 90s. The child from southwestern Sydney died at home and had significant underlying medical conditions. The man in his 30s from eastern Sydney died at Prince of Wales Hospital. We'd like to express our sincere condolences to the family and loved ones of these people who have sadly died. This week, public health orders uh, will be updated to include a requirement that people register their positive COVID uh, rapid antigen test. Uh, this will help ensure positive cases are provided with advice about how they can manage their symptoms from home and when they might need to seek extra medical support and advice. You generally do not need a PCR test uh, to confirm a rap positive rapid antigen test, but you should immediately self-isolate for seven days once you have a positive rapid antigen test. Please follow all the health advice for the, uh, as if you're a COVID case, in including telling your household contacts that they should also do a rapid antigen test and isolate for seven days. If you're aged under 65 years of age and have had two doses of COVID vaccine and do not suffer from any chronic health conditions and are not pregnant, you can safely manage COVID-19 at home. If you are pregnant or have chronic health conditions that requires regular hospital visits or specialist follow-up and are feeling unwell, please call the New South Wales COVID-19 Care and Home Support Line or your local doctor. If you develop severe symptoms, particularly severe headaches or dizziness, difficulty breathing, chest, uh, chest uh, pressure or pain, then call triple O. Uh, straight away and tell the ambulance staff that you've been diagnosed with COVID-19. A reminder to everyone across New South Wales to get vaccinated if you haven't had your first dose or if you're due for your second dose or your booster, get them as soon as possible. Uh, New South Wales Health is working with vaccine providers across the state in preparation for the rollout of the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine to children aged 5 to 11 years of age, uh, which begins today. Uh, if you're a parent or a caregiver, we encourage you to make a booking for vaccination at any of the New South Wales uh, health clinics uh, or at the GP or pharmacy uh, that provide uh, vaccination services. Uh, New South Wales boostering program continues to ramp up as more people become eligible, uh, with New South Wales Health already having delivered more than 336,000 vaccine boosters uh, to help people say to help keep people safe uh, and build immunity across the population. Booster doses of vaccine are now available for uh, people aged 18 years and over, uh, and uh, these people are eligible for a booster uh, if it's been four months or more after their second dose. Uh, we urge people to get their booster dose as soon as they become eligible uh, to best protect themselves, their families, and the community. We are strongly recommending that people aged 12 years and over who are uh, severely immunocompromised have a third primary dose of vaccine from two months after their second dose. Uh, so generally, please everyone do what we can to protect each other from the spread of COVID. Uh, so practice those COVID safe behaviours, like wearing a mask, 
when you're near other people and when you're indoors, uh, except when you're at home, and particularly washing uh, and ha san sanitizing your hands on a regular basis with either soap and running water for 20 seconds or using uh, um, uh, sanitizer. And if you're unwell with symptoms, please have a test and uh, isolate until you get a negative test. So thanks again to everyone for coming forward, practicing those COVID safe behaviors, and importantly, getting vaccinated and your booster when it's due. Thank you.